Now, last week, very tragically, Tim van Yeden passed away due to a shark attack in Plettenberg Bay. Now, when something like this happens, our immediate thoughts are that sharks are heartless killers and that they are just out to get us. But that is why we call the marine biologist Alison Cock from the Save Our Seas Shark Center to help clear us uh, to help to clear up some misunderstandings around shark bites. Good morning, Alison. Are you well? I'm very well, thank you. Good. So you came in all the way from Colt Bay this morning. Wow, you must have been up nice and early. Yes, well, it's a beautiful place to stay. So it's, exactly. So yeah. better up early, enjoy the day longer. Nice. Definitely. So I think first order, you know, is very shocking when we heard about the shark attack in Plettenberg Bay, um, and I think we just need to, you know, send our condolences to the family. Definitely. I mean, shark attacks are emotive issues and um, worldwide they are highly publicized. But we need to remember that these directly impact families and friends and mm. local communities that mm. have to deal with the issues. Exactly. And really, it's our role to try and provide some reasonable and objective information in light of these highly mm. publicized events. Exactly. No, very d definitely shocking. Now, let's, let's do the first question. Why do shark attacks happen? Is there a motive for a shark to kind of attack a human being in specific? Well, you know, there are two main reasons, and the first is hunger. Sharks are obviously in an environment where they're continuously searching for food, yeah. and they make mistakes. And when they bite humans, it's generally because they mistake us for their natural prey. Mm. And the second motivation is also uh, if they feel threatened. So if they feel that there's competition, they feel threatened, they might bite as well. Mm. So uh, those are the two main reasons mm. that sharks might bite people. Mm. And what about curiosity from a shark side? Some sharks are very curious, they're very large, so these are the lions and the tigers of our sea. Mm. And they are confident animals and they investigate all kinds of things from kelp to uh, plastic bags to mm. things like that. And so, you know, when they come across a surfer or something that they don't know, they don't really understand, they will try and explore that. And unfortunately, mm. they are built, they are top predators, they've got lots of razor sharp teeth and when yeah. they explore things, they do a lot of damage. And for us as humans, we don't really stand a chance when they do bite us. Exactly. But I mean it, it goes the same way as if, if you're going to go walk around in the wild between lions and tigers. You wouldn't do that because it's their natural habitat. Exactly. I mean, the ocean is one of the last wildernesses that we have. It's a wilderness on our doorstep. And I think that every time we enter the ocean mm. as ocean users, we have to remember that, that we might stand the chance of mm. running into a shark because that's where mm. they live. Exactly. But I mean, obviously, as humans, we use the sea, we swim in it. Um, but I mean, that doesn't mean we shouldn't shouldn't use the sea, but we must be aware that we are stepping into the environment. Exactly. I mean, as an ocean user myself, I understand that there's a risk when I go into mm. the water. And statistics mean very little to people that are directly affected by shark bites. Mm. But at the same time, we need to remember that they are incredibly low. I mean, for the amount of time that people spend in the water and the amount of people in the water, Last year alone, there were 79 bites worldwide with sure. six fatalities. And in South Africa last year, in total, there oh. were eight bites with two fatalities. And these are incredibly low numbers. Mm, exactly, exactly. Alison, thank you so much. We're going to be speaking to you a little bit later on. And uh, Alison will be giving us some tips on how to stay safe around our coastal areas, specifically now that summer is coming. And also she'll be telling us about some shark species that are aggressive and non-aggressive. So just so that you know. But right now, over to your news. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.